All right, we're here with Eric Dungy, the selected as the quarterback of the DC Defenders. Eric, thanks for coming on the program. Of course, Ken. Uh, I'm super excited for this opportunity and uh, excited to talk about some DC Defender football. All right. So, so what made you decide to return to the XFL? I knew you had a stint in Dallas before, but what made you decide to give it a try this go round? Yeah, you know, I had some opportunities in Canada and some of these other leagues that have popped up, but I was really waiting on the XFL. I knew it was coming back, had a lot of fun in it back in 2020 when I was in Dallas and, um, you know, just getting behind uh, Dwayne Johnson and Danny Garcia. It's uh, it was kind of a no brainer from that standpoint. So I was in talk with some of the teams and then um, Coach Barlow and uh, Coach Kais, and um, I'm excited to be here, like I said, and just ready to play some football. And uh, they're running a similar offense to what I ran up in Syracuse. So really excited to go back to the roots and um, show what I can do again. So what was your reaction when you heard Dwayne Johnson bought the XFL after, you know, going through everything with COVID and the league shutting down? And even though things felt real, like things were on the up and up with the XFL, it was kind of like all hope was lost. And then all of a sudden the rock buys the XFL and Danny Garcia. What was your reaction when you saw that? Oh, I was pumped. Um, obviously, I'm a huge fan of uh, Dwayne Johnson, all his movies that he does, everything that he does for communities. But um, to be behind a guy like that, it's incredible. Uh, he knows firsthand. He wears the, you know, the 54. He was cut from a team. He understands the the pain that it has um, and just really just the the hard work that it takes to get back to that point and giving us another opportunity to show. At the end of the day, it's really for the love of football. And that's what we want to do is play. Um, and I've been talking to some of the quarterbacks here and they're all great guys and they're in the same boat as me. You know, they just want to play football and that's that's what it's all about. So what what is it like uh, working? You decided to go with D.C. And, and work with Reggie Barlow. What did you like about him as your head coach? Oh, just, you know, he's obviously just a very high character guy. And um, I got a lot of respect for him. And I've been catching up with him briefly while I'm here. And he's, uh, again, just can't say enough good things about him. Um, and he's going to demand perfection. Um, I can already tell that. Um, but from that standpoint, he believes in me. And that's all I really need. Um, when someone believes in me, I want to give everything I can to them and, and prove them right. Um, so it's a, it's a good way to start off. So what, since you've been around the first uh, iteration, XFL 2.0 era, now you're part of the XFL 3.0 era. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any kind of similarities or differences you've noticed so far? I mean, this is still new uh, up and coming, but any kind of yeah. differences? You know, I would say the difference is I feel like this is just, um, you know, not the XFL 2.0 was very structured, but this just feels, you know, like a uh, really, you know, work in production. Um, and I think they've done a phenomenal job. They've had, you know, a year and a half to basically plan everything. I think they got a great business plan. They got a lot of people behind them, you know, some exciting um, TV, you know, deals that they have in the making. And it's, uh, it's a lot of, a lot of good hype around it. Um, and I think they rebranded really well. And, you know, obviously with Dwayne Johnson and Danny Garcia, it's easy to get behind people like that as your leaders so um again it's just a really exciting time um for xfl and all the all the guys who you know got picked up today and who are going to get picked up tomorrow and the next day yeah so speaking of the draft now that you're you're the quarterback are you put, uh, telling the, the coaching staff like hey these are the type of wide receivers i would like or this is the type of offensive line have you kind of given your two cents into this draft that's going to happen over the next two days yeah, I've definitely given my two cents. They've asked me for my opinion as well. So I've listed a couple of guys that uh, we'll see if they get taken tomorrow and um, I'll be excited if they do, but I got a lot of faith in these coaches and they've been doing a lot of, uh, um, a lot of research on some guys from, you know, the, uh, the hub spots that they've been doing and these little satellite camps that have been going on. So they see the talent out there and they're going to put the best people on the field together. And, you know, hopefully they're wearing that red and playing for DC here. There you go. Now, what can fans expect from your game? How would you describe your game to fans that don't know you from Syracuse? Um, how would you describe your game? Yeah. And I think a lot of people didn't even know I was playing football anymore. And for me, I've always just, I, I've loved the game. Um, I love to win. I love to, I love to lead by example. Um, so for me, I just play with a lot of passion and everything I can do. I, I do everything in my power to win, um, whether it be running the ball, throwing the ball or putting the guys in the best position. And for me, I just want to have fun out there. Um, and then just give the fans something to root for, you know, I, at the end of the day, it's, it's for the fans and it's for the fan base. And, um, you want to obviously win for them and make it a an enjoyable and entertaining game for them so speaking of the fan base so clearly you were part of the 2.0 era so you know about the beer snake and how yeah, important that is <laughs> <laughs> so when you were coming to dc um what's your thoughts uh, are you going to participate on the beer snake that first game or 
Or you know, what are your I, thoughts I would love on to that? Participate in the beer snake. I would say the first beer's on me, and then we'll get the thing going. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I definitely saw that um, from the XFL 2.0, and that's a that's a fun tradition that's going to carry over for uh, 3.0. And yeah, I, I would love to contribute to that. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate your time, Eric. Congratulations on being part of the DC. Now you're part of the Washington DC area, and we can't wait to see you and the team hit the field in 2023. Thanks so much for being on the show. Great. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. All right.